What's going on everyone? I'm Bevan Sentapani on behalf of Animal and today I'm going to give you my top five foods for fueling training performance and recovery. Now obviously there's a lot of foods <laughs> to choose from and to whittle it down to just five is quite the task, right? And the reality is I believe in a variety of foods, right? It's great to uh, comprise a diet of a wide variety of protein sources, different carb sources, plenty of fruits and vegetables, micronutrients, of course, are vastly important. However, for the sake of this video, if I had to choose just five, here they are. So first and foremost, whole eggs. Now, whole eggs are probably my favorite food. Tremendous protein source as well as a fat source. And when you stop to consider the fact that a whole egg is essentially a source of nutrition for a developing chick and has everything that that chick needs to grow and develop muscle tissue, connective tissue, everything just from the nutrition in that egg, that says a lot. Whole eggs, uh, you know, for some people, they could be an allergen. They digest great for most people. And the unique thing about eggs is they could be tailored, right, to fit your nutritional goals, meaning uh, through the exclusion or the addition of yolks, uh, you can adjust the protein to fat ratio, uh, which is awesome. That aside, I mean, eggs for a long time were considered the gold standard for proteins. And uh, cholesterol, a lot of people, you know, for many years were afraid to consume whole eggs because they were, uh, you know, frightened about the whole uh, cholesterol content. We now know that dietary intake of cholesterol has very little to do with blood levels of cholesterol. And cholesterol is actually a vital nutrient, okay? It's needed for the development of many steroid hormones and um, just necessary for overall health and especially for muscle building. Uh, next on my list, beef. Now, beef, you know, as compared to say chicken, fish, uh, it's just an extremely nourishing protein loaded with vitamins and minerals uh, and for you know many many years bodybuilders have considered beef to be um, you know the, the staple in a bodybuilding diet uh, it will absolutely boost your strength stamina and recuperative ability uh, and very similar to eggs right you can control the nutritional profile, right? By selecting various cuts or even different uh, de degrees of ground meat, you can adjust the protein to fat ratio, right? And that's a kind of a unique feature. Uh, it's, you could do that, I guess, with chicken or some other things, you know, different uh, parts of the chicken as with fish, you know, different fish are higher in fats. Um, but beef is really my pick because it's loaded with vitamins, minerals, high quality protein, and let's be honest, it's delicious. <laughs> Who doesn't like a good steak or a burger? Um, and it's, it's easily accessible, it's everywhere. Next on my list, let's talk some carbs. So when it comes to carbohydrates, for me, a potato, if I was gonna choose kind of my top carb, uh, carbohydrate, it'd be a potato. Why? Easily digested, right? It's gluten-free. I'm not someone who has celiac disease or anything like that, but I have noticed over the years if I stick to gluten-free carbohydrate sources, I just feel better, they digest better for me, less bloat. Uh, so white potatoes, uh, I do like sweet potatoes as well, but for whatever reason, I'm partial to white potatoes and they're loaded with vitamins, minerals, lots of potassium, uh, just a great food. And they're not a grain, right? Because some people like to balance, you know, kind of their grain intake and technically potatoes being a root vegetable. Excellent carbohydrate source and they're cheap. Cheap, they're everywhere, easy to prepare. Morning, noon, and night, they always fit. Next on my list, oats. Now, oats, in contrast to potatoes, they are a grain, but they're a great slow-burning carbohydrate. Uh, easily digested. They go good any time of day. Um, they're cheap and uh, just, just an all around excellent carbohydrate source, tremendous source of fiber. And um, typically you, they can be found uh, certified gluten-free as well. Uh, again, if that's an issue for you, not an issue for me, but I do try to avoid the intake of too much gluten because I just feel better when I do that. 
Last, but certainly not least, I had to include some greenery on this list. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know that vegetables are massively important to me. I believe um, in, in eating them pretty much with every meal. I feel better when I consume vegetables. I'm a big believer in leafy green vegetables. Micronutrients are important. Uh, spinach, you know, I, I could have dedicated this spot on the list to something like kale, because when you look at the nutritional profile of kale, it's impressive, right? A lot of vitamins and minerals, uh, arguably more impressive than spinach, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I went through a, a period where you know, kale was my go-to, that ship has sailed and sunk. I'm done with kale. <laughs> I can't stomach it anymore. Spinach is mild. It's quick to prepare. Right? It's very light. It digests easily. And uh, it's, it's much more palatable. So speaking realistically, spinach is my go-to. Um, you know, these are kind of my... These are my top five. Um, obviously, on a daily basis, I consume plenty of other foods, but for the sake of giving what I would consider to be the most fundamental. If I could only choose five foods, these would be my go-to. So, of course, make high-quality, nutritious, whole foods the foundation of your diet. Uh, when life gets in the way, you can't maybe sit down and have a whole food meal. Make sure you fill in the gaps appropriately with high-quality stuff. I'm Evan Santapani for Animal. Thanks for watching.